forecast said eight inches. It's nowhere close, but maybe that's accumulation over the two days. So my buddy Joey's at work. We're usually the uh, dynamic duo of snow removal, but I'm solo today, so four to five houses. Yep, trying to earn myself some karma points. Got my snow removal duties done. Someone's raging against the uh, glassware over there. Saturday at the drum shop. Got uh, Scully working on the mill. We still need to declutter this room. We'll get to it. Today we're starting on more marching snare hoops. Veneer some on the inside, trim some, veneer them on the outside, and see what else we get stuck in. Jim might actually get these on today. Yeah. I just had to talk with myself. I, I get going here. Right. Anyone slide into your DMs over those mill pictures you posted there, buddy? <laughs> hey, uh, I haven't posted any yet. Did I? I forget. Oh, you did. Hmm. What that post? So you rough cut those to length, now you're going to mark them individually because you got to fin them individually because those aren't really standardized. Yeah, it's whenever I just like figure one out and then cut them all to match, it, it, just, it never ends up working out. It always seems to work better when I just fit them one at a time. So it takes a longer, but then they fit right. You got to sneak up on it with a bandsaw or the OSS? That's enough that I'll probably take that off with the bandsaw and then trim it with the OSS. Like a glove. Yeah, so two like dies. Okay, so you can make it like consistent with. Yeah. Made in Barcelona. They make big ass ones too that are like motorized, which would be awesome, but they're very expensive. So, what industry are they supporting in Spain? I, I think that that's or? made for laminate flooring.
Yeah. We'll put you on the marinade there, pal. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just get nervous, man, because like when these don't glue all the way, it sucks. I definitely had some where the edges just like you just gotta go back and like squeeze it in. Yeah, and it just not my idea of a good time. I guess at that point you'd rather deal with too much glue than having to do it twice. Yeah, it's way easier to, to trim off, you know, you clean up the squeeze out and then there's stuff you gotta trim, but like that's way easier than dealing with one that, that didn't um, fully adhere. Tight bond three? Yeah. I'm a tight bond two man myself. Oh yeah? Tastes better. I don't remember why I went with tight bond three. I had a reason a long time ago, I don't remember. Outdoor use? Could be. The fact that it's rated for exterior. The color? The color being darker is, is, is nice, like darker than the Elmer's. The fact that it looks like it tastes like cinnamon? <laughs> I taste like cinnamon. Ew. Let me just, uh... I got my money on pop, just because I want to see it pop, so it probably won't pop. Uh, it's at least 50-50. So far, so good. Yep. So for those watching at home, who's your money on? Who's going to give up the ghost? We lost two last time. We got six miniatures and one... Giant. So I'd say that the top contenders are this red, uh, creepy toy kids one, or uh, Gold's Gym right here. Let's see which one pops first. Man, if that Gold's Gym goes, I'm probably gonna poop. <laughs> That's gonna be really loud. Or the plug might shoot across the shop and kill one of us. Should probably face the plug down. Yeah. <laughs> probably gonna hit. So we got three more of the big boys to laminate up, and those are for the two bass drums. Got six of these boys in clamps. Six over there are done. Eight more, the insides have been done. We need to do the outside veneer. This camera angle makes it look like you're in the worst ball pit in America. Oh, the best ball pit in America. Probably not though. Wait, like a toyga. I don't even know what that's from. I say it all the time. Uh, Austin Powers. Oh yeah. Squeaking in organization projects, sorting through steel wool, sandpaper, culling tons of sandpaper because who doesn't save sandpaper thinking they're gonna reuse it as just the next grit down or up, however you look at it. Some dividers. It's gotta be done over here too. Eesh. Much to our surprise, we didn't lose any soldiers today. A lot of hoop veneering. Inside, outside, Jim came in, worked less than a half day. <laughs> what else did you work on? Uh, still working on that, that veneer snare. All the places where the veneer blew up failed. I, I think we chased them all down, so now it's just... I can't remember if the client wanted re-rings in that or not, so I got to check with him, but... And then it's just service prep. We finally start varnishing the freaking thing. The end's in sight, and a few possible orders came in. 
Yeah, yeah, a couple orders came in today, and uh, other than that, I just spent the entire freaking day laminating hoops. A lot of hoops. Greatly exceeding the recommended inflation levels. <laughs> yeah. You might come into some uh, carnage. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that, that some of those will not survive the temperature swing that they're about to get exposed to. <laughs> Rest in peace, big balls. <laughs>